percentage play to go for instead of trying to land a long range bandage toss or zenith blade. Yeah. Well, Kikus gets jumped on level five, drop very low, oh gets the KO ulti just in time. Ku not going to capitalize on that kill just yet. NQ low on health and now no ulti. Ooh, dangerous. Can he land the Sonic Wave? There's the flash. The Q does not land. Doesn't get Terra Aggro either, so he's pretty safe. So that was very dangerous for Harass and Wave Shoving. Yeah. It's really going to help her out. And they're doing a lot down there. Ooh, good ult by NIQ, though. It's going to put some damage back out of the Bivin. Kikka shows up as well. All right, they trade ultimates and decent amount of health bars on both sides. Who could go for another turret dive, knowing that the Kale ulti is down? Oh, there he is. Missed Axe! They're just walking at each other, look for NIQ. No flash available, kicks him. And down goes NIQ. Ku just getting run at by Kikus, doesn't even care. As two people share lane experience and you get a bonus, while a single person does get more, you lose out on that bonus. And looks like the dragon's going to be falling down pretty quickly. Oh, just comes across. Kikus does pick it up. Nice smite. Ku couldn't even press the button in time. He will get some China jungling this time around. Nope, doesn't get it at all. Warms it up for Ku. Man, he got it down to half, but Ku wants blood here. He's going to get the red buff slow. There's the axe. Lands the Q. Kale has her ultimate for this one, too. That could be really, really painful. Gets the E slow. Jumps to his teammate. A lot of damage from Kale. Forcing the flash out of Q. Rocket comes across. Not going to land. Grag is Q. There's a jump in. One attack, and Ku goes down. Picks him up. Grag is ulti was already down. Great chase there by NIQ. And Pabibin can easily set up that gank. Oh, it's looking pretty good for them. Got the ward. We'll see how long it lasts. Uh, NIQ takes a bunch Q. of pain. Ults himself. Pabibin a little bit low. Likely to not go down. Picks it up with a body slam. And just advantages out of nothing. They're still going for the inhibitor turret. And here's the teleport from Mundo. They've now cornered themselves. This is a tight spot. Okay, traps land, hit two. Sharna in a bad spot right there. Mundo comes on and Kick is chasing as well. The dive in towards the Lennox. Three man knockup. Q forced away. Oh, the stun on the NIQ. He got it. Oh, he kills him in midair. Goodbye to Lee Sin. Trading one for one so far. Voidal trying to solo the mid later. One more. Gets him. The Bivin not in a good spot though. One versus two, or two versus one. Kick is picks up one. Now the one versus two for Odoamna. Know where to go is going to have to be pretty careful at this one. Still wanting to fight. I'm not sure that this is a good idea. This fight's going well for Pulse, though. Three to two. Forward and it's like, I'm going to get you. And then, like, swatted out of the air. Like Two going in away. again, though. He misses the combo this time. Uh, slow under Willet. They're going to go on forward. Actually, Ascension used. Oh, no. The slow lands. And goodbye to Jinx. Helendix going away sad and alone in that bottom lane. So you don't get the right angle. And he just barely missed it right there. Um, Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2014 European Challenger Series, and it's time for round two in this best of three battle between Pulse Esports and Cloud9 Eclipse. Now having to forfeit due to reaching their 10-minute pause limit, Pulse Esports is looking to even up the series, while Cloud9 Eclipse is looking to advance to the semifinals with one more win.